I was gonna have to update your baby daddy. So, yeah, I know you're sad, I know you hurt because you feel like I told all your business and everybody looking at you even more crazy. I know you're mad and hurt because you feel like your baby daddy probably was mad, mad and got mad at you because I told the business, I told all his business to the world and he knew that this information, I didn't just make this information up, he knew that it had to come to, come to you. Woke up to my channel, woke up to my channel, welcome everyone, yeah, welcome to my channel, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Chopante here and I'm back with another video. And I know that I said I was not going to talk about this anymore, but hear me out. Okay, so the last video about this situation, we all agreed that the video was kind of out of pocket. It was only a certain spot. Somebody made the video available to me so I could watch the whole thing. The only thing that Brittany was wrong with was saying what she said about um, Ashley. So now we're here in present day and Brittany has put out an apology video to Keisha, Jeremy, and Ashley. And I watched it because I am subscribed to Brittany's channel. I'm subscribed to Keisha's channel as well. So I decided that I was going to watch it. So I watched the video and there's a lot of things I want to say about it. So let's get into this video. I can understand like, like damn Brittany, you saw all my business. Now Jamie looking at me crazy. I understand that. I can understand why you mad and hurt about that. But like I took accountability for mine. The response I got from you, where I took accountability for my actions and I wanted you to do the same. I pointed out where you should hold accountability at. All you could respond to me was stuff about you. Everything about you, how you're so hurt about it. Even though I also included how I'm receiving so much backlash, I'm receiving all these, you know, threats. They're coming from my job, they're coming from my family. Although I mentioned that in my message, nothing was about me and your response. I was sincerely coming to check on our friendship, see where we stood, you know, because I didn't know. We haven't really talked since. It all went down, so I didn't really know where you stood. But in your response, although you, although you didn't say it, I took from it that you good on me, my friend. You good on this friendship. Like, I don't got to be friends with you no more. That's what I took from you. And I can understand, like, like damn, but you really just exposed me. You made my brain even worse. I ain't gonna make your brand worse, but you know, I'm, <laughs> I kinda did, you know. I made your reputation worse. You didn't take accountability of your part in it. You wanted me to do this. I'm in this situation because you wanted somebody to come to your defense. I also want to reiterate what I said in my last video about all of us minding our business. I still mean that, but I believe that there's a lesson in this video. So let's just jump into what the lesson is. Um, you really have to watch who you call friend. Um, yeah, everything, it, it's a touchy subject, okay? I apologize to myself the most in this whole situation being so gullible regardless of what we say on the phone when we talking i'm your girlfriend we friends like we can talk shit about this stuff because it's like that's what friends are for i should not stand to the public with this and i'm i was i, I can honestly say i played myself i went out like a real duck a real lame because I inserted myself into somebody else's relationship issue. You just have to watch out who you call your friend because some friends will throw you under the bus. 
um, have you do their dirty work and then turn around and try to be mad at you for doing what you told them to do. So in this video, we're gonna go through some, some of the video clips um, because you can tell that Brittany is hurt. She's hurt um, that she's losing a friendship and that her friend just won't wake up. And like I said before, I know that these are people's real lives, but I've also been in a situation like this to where, you know, you can't tell somebody something and expect them to listen if they don't want to. So, yeah. So a key point that I wanted to point out, and a lot of um, T pages, I guess, have said this about this young lady, Keisha, they have said that, you know, she's a liar. She always is like in the background manipulating situations. And, you know, I don't really listen to them because like I said, that girl has a lot of haters, like li literal hate for no reason, right? yeah that's my baby y'all in the background <laughs> but um she literally has haters for no reason so people just be making up anything and i'm not so invested that i'm gonna be like okay yeah y'all she crazy she doing this i'm no i'm not doing that um so what i will say about this situation though it kind of proved the point of what some of these people were saying that she is controlling the narrative of this story. She's putting out what she wants to put out, but she's not doing it. She's having other people do it. So Brittany confirmed, and I, hopefully I have this clip recorded. If not, y'all, I'm gonna link the video. I know I didn't link the, uh, the page the last time, but I'm gonna link the video if it's not deleted by the time y'all see this. Um, she basically said that her and Keisha had a conversation and Keisha was mad about people not defending her. And so Brittany was like, you need to defend yourself, blah, blah, blah. So Keisha gave her permission to tell it all, to air it out, um, to tell everything. Because I guess she was mad in that moment. And that's, these are her Brittany's words, okay? These are not my words. <laughs> um, and so Brittany did that. She even went as far as to say like, you know, if you didn't want me to put the video out, you knew that it was scheduled for this day. You should have came to me and said, nah, sis, that ain't the look, friend. Like, you should have came to me. And definitely, because if you knew that this stuff was gonna get out, not only did it make you look more crazy for staying, this this is a really bad look for you because now it's saying that you're a liar. And that's what a lot of people have been saying. And it's a shame, it really is, it's a shame that it has to come down to this. But you know, uh, darkness will always come to light, you guys. Like, whatever you got going on behind the scenes, just know, if you're in a public light, even if you're not in a public light, but if you're in a public platform like this, anything that you're doing behind the scenes that you don't want to get out, don't do it. Like, just don't do it. So another thing that she spoke on, she was talking about the sit down video from the book. Um, she was like, I wouldn't say that you guys lied, but you definitely didn't tell it all. Like, you didn't tell everything. Um, so basically calling them liars. Uh, which makes sense because it's a lot of details that have been aired out recently that go against what you said in the book. And so, it's, it's just a lot, y'all. Like, it's, it's truly a lot. And to see this young lady go through this on her page because she's a smaller YouTuber. She doesn't have any brand deals. It doesn't affect her as much as it affects Keisha. Um, it's sad. And these are like look like words that came from Keisha like, oh, well my brand, this really hurt me. And not thinking how it affected Britney. Um, and that's, you can't, listen y'all. All friends aren't friends, okay? Some, some friends are just associates because if they're not looking out for your best interest, they're not for you. Shame y'all. So I'm gonna play a clip. Let me see where we go land on it. In the morning, I schedule it for to go to seven in the morning. In the mornings, I'm here to do my kids. I don't know if it's a commercial, y'all. <laughs> but I do. I did screen record the video um, because when I watched it, I was just like, "This cannot be true!" Like, wow! Like, I'm like, I'm shocked. I really am shocked, y'all, because I didn't think that Keisha was that type of person. They want to hear the storyline. This is juicy. I haven't watched your video yet, but I heard you say you're taking stuff back. You picked me and said, you know, you're taking stuff back. Just focus on your mental and, you know, peace and your inner peace. And I understand that. It shouldn't look for this because I didn't say nothing that you ain't already knew. Mm. So. 
Brittany speaks about how, you know, Keisha texted her and told her that she was stepping back and all of that stuff. And she was just saying, you know, that's good. But why did it take me to air out your business to everybody else for you to step back? So for me, it's kind of like maybe she's saying, maybe it's just for publicity. It's not really what's really going on because even like in the comments of other videos, a lot of people have been saying when she put out that assumptions video, it was after the step back video and that she basically was lying because in the assumptions video, her and Jeremy was all booed up. So it's like, dang, like y'all, this is entertainment. Like it's entertainment. Like she has to keep this going. <laughs> she has to keep this going. For her brand's sake right but that's why it speaks to you know not getting so bless you not getting so um caught up in social media and what everybody else is doing nine times out of ten their lifestyle is fake they're going through something behind doors which everybody does but let me just just hear me out okay everybody goes through things but you shouldn't have to put on a facade because people like people are really looking up to lifestyles like this. Like, yeah, I want the money, I want the fame. <laughs> Shout out to Trey Songs. But what all comes with all of that? What all comes with that? Okay. And the fact that she basically threw her best friend under the bus because of her brand deals, because of her image. Like we we get it, sis. Like we get the trials that come with it we're still gonna be here my, not, if she would just told the truth so now it's like dang because i was gonna unsubscribe a long time ago y'all but i'm i'm a very loyal person okay so it's hard for me to just like dip out because I've, I've unsubscribed from her channel about two times and i've come back every single time i like i like her vibe but once you get to lying for no reason like what and it's not even it's not even that she had to tell us her business because she did not have to tell us her business. She brought this upon herself by writing that book. That's where it all started. And her dad told her, be careful what you're putting out here. And she didn't listen. And so this is this is the re repercussions of that, I believe. Um, she didn't listen. And so now it's all spiraling and getting out of control and stuff. And it's sad. So let's see what else Brittany's saying. I'm in a situation because you wanted somebody to come to the other thing. Okay. So let's talk about her actually telling Britney to put the video out. She wanted somebody to come to her defense. So she asked Britney to do it. She asked her to do it. And so it's crazy because when I watched the whole video of Britney's, of the defense one, she really did come to her, her friend's defense Like after I watched the whole thing. Um, like I said before, where she messed up was the, the bashing of Ashley and stuff like that because you you don't know the girl. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta put her business out there like that. I don't think Brittany should be apologizing to Jeremy, to be honest, because she was defending her friend who was hurt by him <laughs> and tell it like it is. I mean, it wasn't like stuff we didn't already know. We already knew this. Like, we know Jeremy ain't got no dang on job. Like, we know this. <laughs> so... Let me, let me stop. We don't know that, okay? We don't know that he doesn't have a job, but we haven't seen him doing any work, except for when he was doing that construction stuff, but he wasn't really doing construction stuff because he wasn't doing construction stuff, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, y'all, it's just a lot. Really what I wanna say in this video is just be careful. Be careful who you call a friend. Be careful what you get yourself involved in. Um, I just wanna say to Brittany, if you even see this video, kudos to you for standing up for yourself. Um, yes, you defended your friend. Now you're defending yourself because you have to, you don't, you know, I don't think that you even really wanted to make this video to, to harm her or anything like that. It's just, it's just is what it is. Like she put you under the bus. Now you got to speak up. Like this wasn't even, this wasn't even that. <laughs> and so, yeah, y'all, this, this is dramatic okay this is dramatic and drama and like i said i'm not gonna be doing another video on this um if you want to check out that video go ahead and click that link in the description or in the pin comment wherever it is and just listen if you want to now if you're not into this type of stuff i don't even know why you're on this video to be honest but um 
Yeah, y'all. So Brittany is hurt. Brittany is hurt because Keisha didn't come to her defense at all. She didn't say anything. Like, even if she doesn't say anything on YouTube, she can say something on Instagram. She comes after these trolls all day on Instagram. Like, she can say it. And I don't think that it's fair of her to say, oh, well, my manager told me not to get involved. Um, you know, all, all kinds of crazy stuff. You should have been listening to your manager from day one when she probably told you not to put out that book, but you did it anyway. So, listen, you got to pick and choose your battles. If you're willing to lose a friend, um, then hey, so be it. If not, make that junk right. Make that junk right, girl, because, mm-mm. And then Brittany, I also want to say to you, because I, I know this video is all over the place, but y'all, I just like freshly watched this video. <laughs> And yeah, anyway, so you can get Brandale's girl. You can get Brandale's. It's not, it's not as hard as you think. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that your friend ain't put you on to how to get no Brandale's is crazy. Just saying. Because me and my friends, we help each other. Okay? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. 2020, the year of revealing, like, for real. For real. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you like this video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit that notification bell so you can see whenever I upload a video. Remember to keep God first, you guys. 